Okay, okay, boys, what is going on? Welcome to episode number three of the Battle of the Best Player Tournament. Today, I am going to be doing the Houston Texans versus New England Patriots, a.k.a. D-Hop, a.k.a. The Nuke versus Stefan Gilmore, a.k.a. I don't have a nickname, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that he doesn't. Should be a pretty good matchup. My money was on anybody. It'd be Stephon Gilmore, but you know. <coughs> yeah, I'm really not trying to root for him because he's New England Patriots. Nonetheless, hopefully we have a fair matchup here. Yes, I know that I'm not controlling a team. I'm not stupid. Oh, last thing though, there is a playlist now of this entire tournament. So if you want to catch up on other games, there were two other games so far. You can go down in the description and check that out because warning, there will be spoilers in this video and you don't want that to happen. So make sure you watch this one third. Also, if you wouldn't mind, I know this is pretty much irrelevant to you, but it's Christmas right now and I'm recording this video for you boys just so I can get it up for you. So if you wouldn't mind dropping a like for me, it's also about to be the new year if it isn't the new year yet. It would be greatly appreciated with that said you already know we got two things to do thing number one matthew 6 33 but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all of these things will be given to you as well and now thing number two let's head it down to smelly fingers hello and welcome i'm your host smelly fingers welcome to another late december snowy football game between stefan gilmore and yours truly deandre hopkins there's gonna be a ton of things to focus on and look to in this game one being if coach belichick gonna peek over to the Texans playbook during this game. Aside from that, really determined to see if one of these teams wants to try to get this run game going. For my calculations, I believe it's going to be very tough. Look forward to yet another very defensive game. Back to you. Thank you, thank you so much. By the way, sit down, grab some snacks. I got myself some spicy Doritos. Got myself a water. Got myself a game fuel. Got myself some gum. What you got? What you cooking up today, boys? We're going to be getting things started here. Stephon Gilmore opening kickoff. He got some hang time on that. Unfortunately, it went 18 yards out of bounds. Yo, Bum, what are you doing? So, this is what we got here. Should be a pretty good matchup. We're playing in the snow. Got a wide receiver versus a cornerback. I am... I should probably stop, huh? Yeah, okay, I'll stop. Oh, dang. That kickoff literally went nowhere. Just like that run play. By the way, also pretty exciting. After next week, we'll be into round number two. We have Aaron Donald versus Khalil Mack in our last round one matchup. I always love going through and seeing everybody's predictions before that week's game starts up. So if you wouldn't mind casting a vote, hashtag Aaron Donald or hashtag Khalil Mack, I'd appreciate it because I definitely like seeing what your guys' opinions are. And if you got a reason why you think one of them should win, let me know. That's the Oh my goodness. Yeah, the other Hopkins butt naked right there. Last time I've seen DeAndre Hopkins butt naked was last week but i'm not even supposed to tell you guys that we're not going to talk about that and quickly to the point we already know that gilmore can't do it that right there about to be some passing oh my gosh oh my gosh hopkins picked it up and the stupidity starts already <laughs> that's why you gotta love the tournament boys first off that's absolutely fair catch interference second off how did he not pick that up and run it into the end zone oh this is great this is fantastic after watching the jamal adams versus mccaffrey matchup though i feel like gilmore is definitely the one with the advantage here now McCaffrey's definitely no DeAndre Hopkins at wide receiver but he wasn't able to find himself open at all and I'm sure in man coverage Stephon Gilmore is a bit better than Jamal Adams that's the matchup I'm really trying to pay attention to today Hopkins is gonna have to find a way to be able to get open especially because I really don't think he's gonna be able to run the ball he's at a severe disadvantage now we got third down and nine they need to get to the 28 for a first down beautiful screen pass what a play call and that's going to be all that they need. Okay, okay. I kind of like that a little bit. Now with a new set of downs, about seven yards away from getting into the red zone. A run play there looked like it was going to work. Yeah, he's mistaking. I'm telling you right now, you are not going to be able to run the ball in Gilmore. All right, I'm going to throw in a piece of gum so I don't keep chewing Doritos in your guys' ear. Another run play. Hey, he fought forward. He got like five, six. Okay, yeah, hopefully that's better. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, third down. They raided it. Why would you run it again? Gilmore also out in safe cover, just in case if there was a fake. Uh-oh, what's going to happen this time? He caught it this time. If I'm him, definitely trying to run the ball straight up the middle. There we go. He's going to go for it. Okay, he, he had the middle, to be fair. Just completely brain dead. They got nine seconds, but they could take this to the second quarter if they so choose to do so. Instead, they decide to hike it and hand it off. Another fail of a run. It might not 
And now the flip of field. Ball on the 13. This is a game of field position. Don't forget that. The first throw from Gilmore. Going left sideline. What the heck was that? Disgraceful. There's your answer. The boot from Gilmore. It's going to be around 23 ish okay there's no way that you can't put some points on the board right we got the ball in the 23 here don't choke this away and also i just realized it's kind of cool because these are two playoff teams this year what was that cut <laughs> if we look at a replay right here i'm telling you at at least seven or eight yards all right we're back at it yet again it's another third down and nine he's going deep with it that's the catching good job remember i'm trying not to be biased sorry i am very sorry i just have a thing for the patriots i, I kind of don't like them <laughs> i kind of don't like them okay they always destroy our season so this is gonna be the second time in the red zone oh he was wide open oh that's so frustrating easy touchdown hey look come on you gotta realize you're not gonna get open on stefan gilmore too many times and that being only a four or five yard pass gotta hit it third and goal now similar look on defense for new england and stefan gilmore Let's see what they draw up gotta hit it in the end zone all day to throw it that's gonna be picked off by gilmore in the end zone what a big play from him right there gonna be getting the ball on the 20 all right we're gonna be going under center here they will be throwing this one though good blocking that's how you hit a pass hopkins up next let's check it out see what's gonna happen Great blocking. I'm going to keep pointing it out. And that's another good throw. By the way, you guys got to remember, any play caught inbounds without a timeout is going to take a ton of time off the clock. Already down to 2 minutes and 20 seconds here in this second quarter. If Gilmore manages this right. Drives down. Scores a touchdown. Gives Hopkins no time to score himself. He's doing a good job stopping the run, though. Now set up on the 37. Clock starts back up. Aerial attack is there, but that's a missed pass. First, second, second one from Gilmore. I can count okay wow gotta love it back to fourth down here no there's no point of playing the ball oh my gosh oh we got his feet in what a play i love it i respect it gotta have more of it i don't know why they're taking their good old time right now they got two timeouts left but you only got a minute 30 here okay apparently they just want no huddle even though they were just in the huddle i'm not gonna understand that not even gonna try to comprehend it they're working it though another thing i don't know if it's the inability to beat the offensive line or a great pass protection okay I, I spoke too soon i was just about to say how good of a job that gilmore's been doing at blocking but every time i try to make an analysis like that i i, I look like a dumb idiot person new england did call a timeout i'm kind of wondering why they did that probably pretty confident they're gonna pick up this Bye, first oh my time. gosh okay wow he definitely had him there all right halftime just ended Kind of like to see a little bit of offense here. See what Hopkins can do as far as the kickoff goes. That's that's worse than Gilmore's was. He's going to get the ball to 50. What the heck is Hopkins warming up for? You're not even on the field. Nonetheless, though, here in the 49, first play. Run play. It's a big hit. Beginning of the third quarter. 5.20 left. Good blocking. Yo, you got to roll out, Gilmore. Wait a minute. Goes across his body to get a couple. And he said, hut. And then he's going to say, give me a minute. I'm going to throw the ball downfield. Find a wide open man. And he's breaking tackles. What you got, my dude? Can we put a couple plays together, please? We all want to see a pass. Come on, I'm calling it. It's going to be a touchdown right here. Let's get it, Gilmore. You got a couple people on the check downs. You could throw a 2 if you want to. Wait, wait forever, though. I'm sitting through this. Like, don't get me wrong. The defensive thing's a little bit exciting at all, but we want to see some scoring. This cannot end 0-0. This is playoffs. Oh, no. We've seen how a couple of these went. A few of them almost touchdowns for the defense on special teams. Okay. He's going to take it. That was a massive mistake. The biggest scare here is the opportunity for Gilmore to get a safety. You need to buy yourself breathing room, and that is not what you just did. I'd be sweating bullets if I was him. Oh, would it pick up on that block, though? Bought himself a couple extra yards. By that, I mean one. There is zero run game for both of these guys this game. Hopkins looks like he's going to be settling here and playing it safe. Goes full back run. I'm going to be honest. That was actually a good play. Still 0-0, zero, zero, though and we might be hitting the fourth quarter let's check this out no he's gonna punt the ball first that was so close to being blocked it's another fumble but gilmore picks it up oh my gosh come on you gotta get ready for that we don't want to see the run game we want to see the pass game actually you know i'm sure they'll take that down to 523 left in this game out of center backs up a second time very good coverage all day to throw though surprised he didn't try to scramble it's a touchdown for gilmore he did it ladies and gentlemen there it is 
one in the bank. Call it money in the bank for the New England Patriots. To start this fourth quarter off, got to be excited for them. There it was. Great blocking. That one 100% credited to that offensive line. I guess out of all things, what I'm really hoping for the most is just a good game. And oh man, he did try to go deep for him, but Hawkins didn't turn his head. A third interception. Man, read that like a book. This game almost seemed like it was Stephon Gilmore fans versus the world. If you're not rooting for the Patriots, hold on. Hopkins can catch two. Gets a pick on the other end. And just like that, we're back into it. Uh-oh, look at the line from the left to the right. Bring a crazy blitz. Gilmore coming in. Wait, don't make a mistake here. You definitely don't want to get sacked. No, that's way out of bounds. Hop is getting locked. Look, Houston, your defense gave you a chance. I don't know what more you could ask for. Your offense ain't doing it, though. It's almost like one minute. Crazy hype. Next minute, we're punting the ball back to the Patriots, and, and they're going to be able to... <laughs> what? We're not playing soccer. Get it going. Going to try to lock this game up. Playing aggressive, though. He's paying for that. <laughs> oh, yeah! Drop play. Big yard from it. I don't think Houston see that coming. And another big down. I don't know how many more opportunities the Texans are going to get, but their chance is definitely dwindling down to zero. And they left Gilmore wide open. Really, all they got to do is run the ball one time. They'll bring it down to the two-minute warning. And then Houston's going to have to start calling their timeouts. Instead, though, deciding the pass, I kind of respect it, kind of don't respect because it is pretty stupid looks like they're gonna keep it on the ground and not make that mistake again or or not they really like throwing the ball you better watch out all day to throw keeping it in the air did he get his feet in no he didn't what a play all right so they have been throwing it finally they make a good decision and gilmore picking up a first down the run game starting to work this trips out right has been one of their favorite formations for sure goes run plays the run that's timeout number one bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, I don't know what this defense is. You guys got to be playing the run here. You don't want them to take off. Oh, man. I thought he was going to run out of bounds. It's crazy to think of, but all they got to do is get a stop. And you know they're going to get the ball back in a one-possession game. They're going to do it. Things are interesting. One drive. They're going to need yards, though. My camera is dead, okay? All the batteries are completely dead. I apologize. There's nothing I can do. That's a pick. I think that's game. Fourth interception. And it's a pick six. Stephon Gilmore going to be moving on to round two to face the winner of Aaron Donald versus Khalil Mack. That should be an interesting one, to say the least. By the way, I really apologize that my camera's dead. Everybody, seriously, can't thank you enough for watching and making this series so much fun for me. Don't forget to tune in next week and cast your votes between Aaron Donald and Khalil Mack. Should be a pretty fun and even matchup. I'm very excited to see what happens there. With that said, again, face cam's dead, so I'm not going to keep you guys here too much longer. So we're going to wrap it up right there. There's the stats. An absolute abomination for the Houston Texans. Patriots all in all control this entire game minus the first quarter. With that said, I'm your boy Pizza. You already know you're the best. God bless. Please don't forget to keep them first. And we'll see you all on the next game in the tournament. Peace.